read about the Nevada uh, kind of divorce laws in the 50s and you could get a quickie divorce in Nevada in 1954. And I started to think, well actually, that's a really interesting thing, you know, uh, a bunch of people pitching up somewhere who don't know each other to get divorces. Conflict in, in drama is, I think, all about bringing different people together, bringing kind of strangers together. So to have strangers meeting, wanting a divorce, not knowing each other, was the basic start of the play for me. I thought that was just a great jumping off point. And in the course of the, the play, a, a young kid shows up and he's there as well for a divorce, which kind of sets everybody on edge a little bit. To you know, have a writer who kind of goes after uh, a time and a place and a group of people uh, who are um, unknown to him is, is really unique and special. You get a bunch of guys together, uh, especially in the 50s, trying to cook for themselves, trying to look after themselves trying to deal with, you know, it being quite warm in the day, freezing at night, all of those things. It's a funny play because these guys are kind of incapable of looking after themselves, I think. The play, I think, is very well cast and the actors are truly becoming their characters and even outside of a scene sort of relating to each other in the same way that the characters in the play relate to each other. And that's been a lot of fun. And I think there's a lot, there's room for the actors to bring a lot to it. Carolyn has an extraordinary track record um, in New York of working on new plays, working with actors in a very specific, grounded, uh, character-centric way. She's very sensitive, she's very smart. Mandy's got a brilliant instinct, I think, of, of putting artists together and who would work well together. And she said, look, I think there's this, there's this woman you should meet. She really loves your play. I think you two would get on. And the chemistry between us has been brilliant, actually. It's been amazing. Uh, one of the most fun aspects of building this entire show. I'm really enjoying working with Matt. He's very collaborative. He's very open. He really wants to hear input. He wants to answer questions. He's very much in the midst of his process. The camp itself and the cabins are run by Mrs. Duke, who's African-American. It's really important to me uh, that the, the women in the play, both Mrs. Duke and Chrissy, who's a local girl who kind of comes by to see the guys, that they play a pivotal role in the play. This is kind of special to me because I feel like I really wrenched this out of myself and the fact that MTC read this play and wanted to do this and it's my American premiere is, is a really, really special feeling. So.